back to Amazon selling 101. So what I was saying was selling on Amazon, the basics is pretty simple. When you get into the top level stuff and as far as like picking up suppliers and learning about the reports and making sure you're being paid the correct amount and reimbursements and really taking care of the customer and making sure your account is in good health, that's where things get more critical. But right now we'll start with the basics, which is it's essentially 60% of the market is people like me and people like you out there soon who purchase products and then put them online on Amazon and sell them. Um, here's a typical product that you could purchase from a retailer, wholesaler, distributor. And what we do now is we're going to make a bundle. A bundle is when you take one unit of a product that's typically sold in a store as one and you combine it with more than one. So it could be a two pack, a three, four, five, six. You know, there's even variety packs where you mix one of this and you mix it with another product like this. This is not a good variety pack, but I'm just showing you a combination. A variety is when it's a different UPC on the back from another product's UPC on the back. So right now we're gonna do a two pack bundle of this Aveeno Skin Relief. Phenomenal product for winter or dry skin. Um, what we need to do, because we have prep requirements from Amazon when we ship this product to an Amazon fulfillment center, and an Amazon fulfillment center, by the way, is a warehouse like ours where they receive the products, and then once they receive it, literally minutes after receiving it, Eric and I have been in some of them, and it's awesome the way they operate, minutes after receiving it, it becomes live uh, on Amazon showing that your product is either on back order or in stock. So we're going to take the Savino now, and part of Amazon's requirements is you have to cover all the UPC. So when it arrives at their facility, um, it doesn't scan the wrong code. Because what you're going to have is a code called an FN SKU, which is essentially your barcode for Amazon. And it lets Amazon know that this seller... This is this seller's product because you might not be the only one carrying this Aveeno and Amazon needs to differentiate yours, which is a higher quality than the other sellers because you make sure like we do to take care of your products correctly. So we cover both the UPCs and now we throw them in a poly bag. We're also going to be providing different uh, suppliers where you could purchase all this prep product from and where to get it the cheapest rate from. Right? So we're going to put this in the poly bag. And now what we're going to do is we're going to want to take this shut. Or later on what you'll want to do is you'll get yourself a heat gun or a heat sealer and you can actually seal it tight. Or what we have here is a heat sealing machine that we run it through. But trust me that is not how we started when we were in the basement. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab one of these stickers. This is what I'm going to use to seal it. And also to make sure that Amazon doesn't separate the package. So this says, this is a set, do not separate. And it also has right underneath it, this is a custom one we had made, risk of suffocation, keep plastic bags away from children and pets, dispose of properly. So this is exactly the requirements Amazon has for any product that's polybagged. So we put it here, we fold it up, we throw this bad boy on here. Make sure it's nice and tight. I really don't like that. I would also recommend putting some tape on there, but there's brown tape there. We're all about quality for the customer. These are more box tapes. I would not uh, put that box tape on there. I would use regular tape. Like I said, we don't have a lot of any more because we run everything through our machines, which is, of course, a much better option in the near future for anyone. But you start with what you have, and tape is definitely the way to go. Nice, clear, heavy-duty, two-inch tape. It'll, it'll shut it like this. Now you have your first sticker that you need. Now the next sticker that you're going to need is your FN SKU. Here's, this is a dummy FN SKU. It's not the one for this one. But essentially, this barcode is telling Amazon, hey, this product belongs to this seller. So we'll place it right next to the do not separate. And there you go. You have your first two pack bundle. You have this prepared, you'll put it in a box and then you'll continue doing so 
while adding to the shipments in your Amazon Seller Central. Something we'll go over at a later time. Don't even worry about it. But you'll add the quantities and the products being added to your managed shipments order. And eventually, soon enough, in an hour or so, you'll have a nice shipment ready to go and we'll be shipping it to Amazon. All right, so some of the things that we covered today were how to, how to send your first products to Amazon, FBA, fulfilled by Amazon, sending them to a fulfillment center. Now you can send products directly to the consumer. It's called FBM, fulfilled by merchant, you being the merchant, the seller. However, I've been through that process and the best, most optimal way to sell products online on Amazon is using Amazon's fulfillment center. Amazon has built a logistical team that allows you to have the most cost effective, most efficient, and the fastest method of shipping along with the Prime Badge. Like I said, over 100 million people in the US alone have the Prime Badge, so it is essentially the really the only way to sell on Amazon. Of course, we'll get into further on how you can send it yourself and make more of a profit than FBA, but that's on certain products. I'm saying 98% of the time you're going to want to send products FBA. Uh, we covered some of the ways that you have to prepare the products, uh, covering the UPC, placing an FN SKU on there. Some products will have to be poly bagged, others will have to be bubble wrapped. Um, you know, we covered how to bundle products. We talked briefly about variety packs, but essentially I just wanted you to get a feel for some of the basics of selling on Amazon and see how simple of a method it really is that anyone can do it. Uh, I mentioned before, um, I started with zero knowledge. I was actually a bartender and a waiter. And right at the beginning of 2012, I started selling online on Amazon and I too started off slowly. I too tried the FBM method. I too tried so many different ways of selling and through those experiences I learned the best methods. Uh, I continue to study. I'm on a lot of groups. I, I speak with a lot of high-end sellers and pass each other information and learn from each other. Um, and you know I'm here to share some of that knowledge with you guys so I really hope you enjoy what we provide what I provided today what Eric will be providing in videos to come my promise to you guys is that we're going to be putting up videos pretty much every day maybe every other day just kind of tidbits of best methods and and knowledge that we've picked up through the years uh, make sure you subscribe make sure to throw comments suggestions let us know what you want to learn about what you want to hear and that's the information we'll be providing to you Stay lit.